trigeminal nerve. This is the cranial nerve number five or CNV. It has three divisions. It has the ophthalmic, the maxillary and the mandibular division. The ophthalmic is V1, the maxillary is V2 and the mandibular is V3. So the first two divisions are purely sensory, meaning they only give us uh, information about uh, touch or heat or cold. But the third division, the mandibular division, has a sensory and a motory innovation, meaning it also controls muscles. Now, these three divisions go through uh, three foramens or uh, fissures. Now, the first one, the ophthalmic, goes up through the superior orbital fissure. Okay, so the ophthalmic division goes through the superior orbital fissure. The maxillary goes through the foramen rotundum. So the foramen rotundum for the maxillary division. And lastly, the mandibular goes through the foramen ovale. So, superior orbital fissure, foramen rotundum, foramen ovale. Great. Now, let's talk about the divisions. You must be seeing this and thinking to yourself, holy shit, what is this? I don't even want to remember this. I don't want to memorize this. But trust me, there are two things to remember right now. And the first thing is, you don't have to stress about it. I got this topic on my exam and I used what I'm about to teach you and I passed and got a good score and uh, it was more than enough. Okay, so don't stress about this. Uh, watch this video a couple of times and I promise you, you'll get the hang of it. Second of all, I'm not going to name all of the sub branches of uh, these, uh, the, of the branches. Uh, as most examiners don't require this, but you, sh you should go over them if you have the time, uh, just in case, okay? So let's begin with the ophthalmic branch, ophthalmic division. Okay, so the V1 or ophthalmic division, I prepared a little something to remember it. Uh, you can remember TNFL or the NFL, the National Football League. Okay, what does this mean? So TNFL is the first letter of these branches of the ophthalmic division. So T goes for tentorial, N goes for nasociliary, F goes for frontal, and L goes for lacrimal. Okay, very, very simple, four branches. Now things get a bit more complicated on the second one, on the maxillary, or V2. Uh, it was quite difficult because of all of the P's, but I managed to squeeze them into uh, something like uh, Zeppelin. Okay, so Zeppelin, just to remember that there are three P's over here. So Zeppelin and GGM. Uh, if any of you uh, plays uh, video games, online games, uh, you probably know what GG means, GG good game. And I've added an M over here, so good game, mate. So, Zepepepelin GGM, this is the second division, the maxillary. So, let's look at the letters. We have zygomatic, pterygoid, posterior superior alveolar, posterior superior lateral nasal, pharyngeal, lesser palatine, infraorbital, nasal palatine, greater palatine, gangliotic branch, and meningeal branch. Okay, pretty straightforward. Let's move on to the last. Sorry, this is supposed to be three, V3 and not V2. So uh, V3 mandibular, this is the Malib MDNNN, okay? So NNNN, so imagine you have a Dr. Malib, okay? Malib MD with a four N's stuck after his name for some reason. So Malib MD, NNNN. So Malib is meningeal, auriculotemporal, lingual, inferior alveolar, buccal, ma uh, masseteric, deep temporal, nerve to pterygoids, nerve to mylohyoid, nerve to tensor veli palatini, and nerve to tensor tympani uh, muscle. Okay, this is all, and I hope it wasn't